Melissa with the StockSwish.com, Melissa Armo, and I'm here today to go over Oracle. The reason I'm going over this is I'm in the room here today, and guess what? My day is done. My day is done. My day was done at exactly 9.46. 9.46 my day was done. I'm glad we got this as well as we did today because I really wasn't crazy about this. Let's, let's actually go back and look at it originally, because it did gap last night. Let's take all of this off. So last night, no, that was this morning. Hold on. No, that was last night. No, hold on. There. Last night it did gap, and I thought that it would look more interesting in the morning since last night, but it didn't. It ended up looking less interesting or same. So either way, I was like, okay, fine. But I really expected some tremendous volume in this in the morning. And when I didn't see that, and I didn't see it looking better from last night, I was concerned. And I actually sat here watching a trade for a while in the morning just because, you know, Adobe was not a great gap yesterday. I just called a good setup in it. And I really, this, this is not what I wanted to see. I mean, to be honest with you, this, this, this worked. We made money. I was very, 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 very aggressive in this today. I took it before it triggered, which I never do. But this was not really what I wanted to see for the gap. But once again, just like with the Adobe call I made yesterday, the, 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 the setup was there. So, so I did it. So I did it very aggressively because of the setup, but this isn't really exactly what I wanted this to do. All right, let's go over the trade. And honestly, I would be out of this. So I watched it, really watched it. And at one point here, we were watching it and it went up green first. This could have done anything here. I mean, this was so, it's so hard for me to explain, but I'm telling you right now, this could have gone either way right here. Like here, let's just pretend this wasn't here. At that moment, it could have gone either way, meaning that it could have flipped. I mean, I was sitting here watching three things. You saw me. The Auto Oracle, by the way. Anyways, I was sitting here watching three things and I was like, you know, this could go either way. What is the exact open on this? What is the exact open? Are you trying to tell me that this was not the exact open? Somebody look it up on the internet and tell me exactly what the exact open was in Oracle today on the 18th. Because I want to know. I do think this was it, but I would like to know. And I would be out of this. Anyways, at this moment, in my mind, I'm just sharing this with you so you know. I rated the gap, but the gap did not rate well. The gap didn't rate well. This rated a 19. This was right on the cusp. Like, this could have gone either way. And then when it opened, it could have gone either way. I can't tell you how aggressive this was. But in my mind, I, I, in my mind then, I said, you know what? If this goes, I was prepared for the risk. I took the risk. I guess that's the best way I could describe it. Because at a 19, or an 18, 19 rating, it's not over 20. It's a 50 chance of working or failing. And in my mind, I knew that if it hit and if it broke, it would go, it would go hard. I knew, that it, I knew that. I knew that much, which I think I even said in the room. But it could have flipped and stopped me out and blew me out, actually. And it didn't. It worked. We had a nice day. But I'm just saying to you, though, that it could have. And I guess the reason I did the trade and I did it before it triggered is I was prepared. I was prepared. That I, I was prepared. I was prepared to take the stop. So I was prepared to take the risk, and I did it. And I didn't see anything else sitting up. Rate, I saw right away wasn't going to work. JBL opened late and then had that huge spike, and it was like, do this or don't, don't do anything today. You know? Now, I mean, what was the time that it opened? Not the price. So anyways, we shorted it here. I shorted it before it triggered and it dropped. Then it rallied back. You could have taken more. Then it dropped. You could have gotten out of some in there. 
and then it dropped again and I was all out in here and that was absolutely the right thing to do I played this really well today I really did any questions about this did everyone get it did everyone get Oracle with me that wanted to if you're here in a trial you should just be observing New Jersey Trader got it. R Square got it. Trader Gal got it. Galahad got it. Good. Shower Singer got it. Excellent. I just, you know, you never, 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 never know when you take something if it's going to go the exact number. Because remember, targets. And support and resistance are areas. So, and looking at the market today, and looking at the targets in Oracle, and looking at the moon that it had in the morning, you take all of them together and you make a decision to play it. Because you have one objective as a trader, make money. Make money, make money, make money, make money, make money. That's your objective. You're not trying to squeeze every penny out of something every time. Now, I take size of my first trade into the drop. If you like to, you know, wait, there was this entry here. Price of the entry was not as good. And really, the stop really needed to be over here because Oracle's too wild. If you had been tight here, it, you, it actually held. But the only way I would have called that for anyone to do is if you did this, took half out, let it rally back, or did this, got all out, let it rally back, and then did a second trade and got the drop. Red got it too. Okay. So there was a lot of ways to play this today but I just explained you the way I played it. So it worked out better than expected. And you can hear my voice this morning. I was like, I was kind of like, ah, uh, I was sad. I was sad that Oracle didn't rate better, but I saw it into the open and we did it. But I must tell you that that was so aggressive today to do. Not only because of the rating, but because of the fact I took it before it triggered. Good job, everybody that got it. I'm glad we got a nice, solid, solid move today. In my opinion, I would be out of Oracle. It is not worth this to give back 25 cents to make 8 cents or 30 cents to make 30 cents. It's not even worth giving back 30 cents to make 45 cents or whatever if it goes to 40.75, which is the next target. That's not worth it because it could take you five hours to get there. And again, look at the market. And I don't even think it gets there now because it's 10.05. All right, have a good day, everyone. This is Melissa with thestockswish.com. If you're interested in the Golden Gap class, it's this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, June 20th and 21st. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com for more information. Have a good day.